Good afternoon. I'd like to call to order the special meeting of Friday, October 3rd, 2014. I ha we have received, um, all trustees have waived the, um, the notice of motion in advance that typically we have seven days. All trustees have waived that and so we will be proceeding with the meeting today. Um, before us, uh, we have the agenda. Could I have um, consideration and approval of agenda? Trustee Ferguson, all in favor? And that is unanimous. On the agenda today, we have an emergent governance matter. Um, today, uh, Trustee Taylor uh, spoke with the board and has submitted her resignation to the Board of Trustees effective immediately. We have a motion on the books that I will read into the corporate record. The Board of Trustees accepts the resignation of Trustee Taylor effective October 3rd, 2014. Can I have a mover? Trustee Ferguson, all in favor? And that is unanimous. And we are done for the day. Uh, Trustee Taylor and myself will be available for media. We are adjourned. After consulting with my colleagues at the Calgary Board of Education this morning, I have resigned my position as trustee effective immediately. When I announced my candidacy for the Wild Rose earlier this week, I said I plan to take an unpaid leave of absence from my duties on the CBE. Based on previous precedent on other boards, I believed this would have been an appropriate course of action to take. However, this morning, I was informed that the CBE did not believe the School Act permitted me to take a leave during the election campaign. I'm disappointed that I'm unable to take a temporary leave, but I respect the CBE's interpretation of the School Act. I wish to thank my constituents in Wards 11 and 13 for their overwhelming support. It has been a true honour and privilege to represent their interests. I also want to express my best interest to my former board colleagues like Joy here as they continue to, grow, to provide critical leadership and direction to the parents and students of Calgary. I'm very excited to be part of Daniel Smith's Wild Rose team, and I'm devoting all of my energy to earning the support and trust of the people of Calgary West. I look forward to hopefully representing them in the legislature. And I'm gonna turn it over to Joy. On Wednesday, October 1st, the Board of Trustees received a request for leave of absence from Trustee Taylor. Upon a review of the School Act, we believe that leaves are not permitted. As a result, we met with Trustee Taylor, a lot, <laughs> and received the matter. We respect her decision to resign. This, re this reflects our shared understanding of the interpretation of the School Act. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, I would truly like to thank Sheila for her years of service to students and parents. I respect her contributions to the Board. It has been a pleasure to work with her. We wish her all of the best. What section of the school act, I mean, why, why would a leave not be permitted in this circumstance? Section 82. Which states? H1. H1. <laughs> Sorry, I don't have that memorized. So you say no leaves are permitted? The board, we, we, we actually had a lot of conversation and we've had legal counsel from the Alberta School Board Association and the way that the school act is interpreted is that the board only has the authority to grant um, Sheila permission not to miss meetings, not for a leave. So, why, Sheila, why not go ahead and just miss three meetings in case you didn't win? In case I didn't win? So, well, I guess I would start by saying I'm very, very hopeful and confident that I will be successful in the, uh, the by-election here in Calgary West. Uh, you know, this has been a very eventful week. Uh, you know, I woke up Monday morning just thinking uh, it was going to be a regular week and was very pleasantly surprised when, when this opportunity came about for the by-election. So, you know, initially what I did is I, I took a look at what had been done in other situations and, and there was one example up north, uh, Dave Nelson, uh, the Buffalo Trail School Division, he had taken a leave when he ran in the election the general election last time, and, and we had a trustee over at uh, Edmonton Catholic, Cindy Olson, and she had actually remained in service uh, with the board and attended meetings when she went. So I felt that what was appropriate was to, to sort of follow the example of taking a leave and then not take pay while I was seeking another office. But, you know, upon, uh, upon learning a little bit more, I'm meeting with Joy mm -hmm. today a lot, 
uh, you know, I respect the, CP, the CBE's um, interpretation that leaves are not permitted under the school act. And for me, the bottom line is I want to do the right thing. I want to do the right thing for the CBE. I want to do the right thing for, for my former constituents. And I, I want to do the right thing for the citizens of Calgary. So what is the, what is the statute about missing meetings? That do you want to talk about Maybe you can explain that to us. Sure. So under the school act, if a trustee misses three meetings in a row, they can be disqualified. So Sheila would need permission from the board to miss three meetings. Our board colleagues w would be fully supportive of Sheila missing those three meetings mm -hmm. while she was running in the by-election. So how many meetings would you actually miss? And isn't it two? She would be missing three because we have a meeting scheduled for October 7th, October 14th, and October 23rd. And the 21st, and the uh, by-election is on the 27th. So she'd be missing three meetings. Yeah. So. So what are we missing here? Yeah. What are we missing here? <laughs> yeah. So I think that, that what we're talking about is really a bit of a, a definition around missing of meetings versus taking a leave for your, from your entire job. And so that's kind of what it came down to. The interpretation was that, listen, uh, you know, we can let you not come to one meeting, but uh, we can't excuse you from, from being an elected person. And so, you know, I accept that. I, I, I don't want this to become an issue in this campaign at all. Uh, I was happy not to take my pay, and I absolutely think that's the right thing to do. Um, and if the decision is that, um, you know, missing board meetings doesn't constitute taking a leave, then then I accept that, and I'm, I'm happy to move on and, and get get myself back into uh, to this election. So maybe maybe <laughs> going back so, to this, maybe you could explain. So you would have, the board would have given trustee ex trustee Taylor, I guess past trustee. Uh, uh, Sheila now. Now Sheila. Sheila, Sheila. Sheila now. <laughs> permission to miss three meetings. That is correct. But, but there's a but coming here. She still would be remain as a trustee, and so she'd have all the fiduciary responsibilities of being a trustee mm -hmm. with the Calgary Board of Education. So it sounds like the concern is more the fact that she's running as a candidate in the opposition part. Absolutely not, no. That would be the problem. No, no. But, but what but is the, what, what's the difference, vote? just so, so we're all clear here? In other words, you would give her permission to miss the three meetings, so it's not yeah, a question of the yes. meetings. No. But what, what wouldn't you give her permission to do, no. so to speak? So Sheila would still be a trustee right. with the board, right. and so would still have to follow all of the board policies and procedures in, and represent herself um, as a member of the Calgary Board of Education. Okay. Does that make sense? So therefore, if you're a candidate, you can't also portray yourself as speaking as a trustee for the board. You could, you could do that absolutely. You could, so you could be a trustee or a trustee or a candidate and a trustee. Technically, you can be yes. So that wasn't appealing to you in any way, uh, Sheila. That's very well, odd. Here, here we <laughs> <laughs> you know what? For, for me, it was. I would never want the public to have any confusion about about what I was in it for, and it's really for for the people of Calgary, and it's about ensuring that uh, that I can represent them well. And so I think sometimes that, that there can be criticism of any politician that holds one office and seeks another. And so initially, I had um, hoped that taking a leave and not taking my paycheck that that would be acceptable. Um, and in one, it's, and in, from one perspective, I think it is acceptable, but perhaps from the perspective of the legislation. It's not, and I think that's that's open to interpretation. And the CBA's interpretation was that you can't take a leave. So. Was this was this your decision, or did it come from the leader of the Wild Rose Party? No, oh, this is this was. Joy and I have been together this morning for about three A or four time. hours, and we've been going through uh, the legislation. We've been going through the options. We had a lot of conversation about it, and uh, and in the end, I think this was the right move. I mean, for for me, it's about definitely not accepting pay. Uh, for this public office while I'm seeking another one. And the bottom line is I won't be accepting pay and, and there'll be no confusion about what I'm in this for and, and that's to hopefully win this election in Calgary West. So sorry about being a pain in the butt, but just to clarify again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So she, uh, Sheila could have had permission to miss three meetings. Mm -hmm. She could have remained a trustee and also run as a candidate. That's correct, yes. So what, what is the CBE saying that she couldn't do and therefore this triggers the resignation? We're not saying that she, we're not saying anything else. All we're saying is that the Board of Trustees legally only has the authority to grant her not to come to the three meetings. So Sheila had came to us 
she said, how can we work together? I'm really looking forward to running in the by-election. And so... And I had asked for a leave. She'd asked for a leave, mm -hmm. and she wants to pursue that. And so we, you know, we wish her the best of luck. Why didn't, why didn't you just take the three, the missing three meetings route? Well, I think that was an option. That, that was one that I had initially considered. And, and especially when I looked at, you know, other examples before me, I'm not the first trustee right. to run for MLA, and I won't be the last. Um, no, Rick, it's really about making sure there's absolutely no confusion about about what I'm in it for, right? And it's, it's, it's not about taking the money for a month. I mean, it's about doing the right thing for, for the people of Calgary. So if you don't win on the 27th, then what? I guess we'll see. I'll be out of a job, but I'm very much hoping to be successful, and, and we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. The two other examples you cited, I believe you cited one in Edmonton, mm -hmm. Edmonton Catholic, and one yeah. was in the Buffalo Trail School Division. And, and, and what were the what were the circumstances briefly in those cases? Okay, so the Buffalo Trail School Division, the uh, the individual's name is Dave Nelson, and Dave ran in the last general election for MLA under the Bob Rose banner. Uh, I was connecting with him yesterday to just really get clear what he did and he informed me that he took a leave for one month so that that was what he had told me that he did the other uh, person that I had researched and I haven't spoken to her um, is Cindy Olson she ran for the NDP in the general election and she was with Edmonton Catholic School Board and my understanding based on what I've read in media reports is that she remained as a trustee she went to meetings she uh, collected her pay. That was my understanding okay. of, of how, what she chose to do. Because at the end of the day, it's it's about you know making your individual decision and then really you know putting it to the public to determine whether or not that's been a good choice. Now, and, Joy, uh, so you're, sorry, yeah. Joy, do you now have to call a by-election? We, you know what, this has all happened so sudden, and so we're certainly not at that point today. Um, well, the board will certainly have to consider that and look at that as an option. Yes. Because you still have three years of a mandate. That's left. correct. Yes. So we're just taking one day at a time right now, and today Sheila and I spend a lot of time together just um, sorting this out, and we'll look at that in the future. So can her resignation be rescinded on, say, October 28th, once we know the results of the by-election? No, you... the board has officially accepted her resignation as of today. Would you run so again for trustee you... then in a by-election if you don't win this other by-election? I was wondering when someone would go. You know what? I'm fully expecting to win. I, I'm working very hard, and I think I'll just cross that bridge when I come to it. Yeah, but I expect it to be off at 4 o'clock today, and that's not going to happen. So will you run again? I expected you to wear a tube when you came to this press conference. <laughs> 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 uh, sorry, let's go again. What was your... Let's hear that question Okay, but, again, but would you... I mean, is Please that run something? that at 6 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the tube he was wearing at the last press conference? Wait, would you run again, though? I mean, <laughs> I mean that is a possibility. You know, when I... This is really changing day by day, and then it's an exciting time. You know, I had I had initially thought that that absolutely that I would remain in public service because I think once you get into um, the business of serving the public and representing people, you don't want to leave. Um, and so that had been that had been my hope that I would, if I was unsuccessful, continue to serve on the board. And so I think we'll see what happens on October 27th, and then then I'll have some thinking to do. Um, about whether or not I would consider running again. But now, right now I haven't really made that decision. Now so. you, you've said a number of times here, I think four or five I've counted, where you say, I respect the CBE's interpretation yeah. of the yeah. School Act. Yeah. Is that your interpretation? It's one thing to respect somebody else's interpretation yeah. of the School Act, yeah. but do you, do you, is that your interpretation of the School Act? Or is your interpretation the interpretation, interpretation you had prior to yeah. this morning? Well, if there's one thing that I've learned in four years of elected office is that um, there's a lot of uh, legal opinions out there and lawyers with, with different thoughts. I'm not a lawyer myself, and so I think I have to rely upon those experts and their, their opinions. And so that's what we're hearing from the lawyers, both um, at the Alberta School Board Association and here at the CBE. So, so it's really their interpretation that I'm uh, choosing to respect. It's not mine. What does this mean for your constituents and in wards 11 and 13? You know, one thing I will say with the school board is that it's our job to represent all of the citizens of Calgary all the time. Um, and you've been to many of our board meetings, so you know we, it's rare for a trustee to really focus on their area when they're deciding whether or not budget's acceptable or talking about transportation issues. You're always talking about all of the students, 
So I have the utmost faith in my colleagues that they will continue to um, consider those interests of, of the residents and the students in wards 11 and 13 when they're making good decisions go forward. But you know what, we will absolutely need a trustee in there as well because it's a big ward. Um, there's over 30 communities, over 30 schools, and they're, they're going to need someone in there. So I'm sad to be walking away from them because it's been an absolutely wonderful experience. And I think I would support Sheila. The school board looks at all of our students, and even though we're represented by wards, we look after all of the students of the City of Calgary. So my fellow colleagues will be looking after wards 11 and 13 in Sheila's absence. Okay, are we good now? I think so. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks, everybody. Really appreciate it.